Hi guys, this is Jen with How Jen Does It. Today I wanted to share with you a slow cooker dinner. I love using the slow cooker. It's so quick and easy to just throw everything in the slow cooker and it does all the work for you and then when you get home you have dinner all ready. So I use the slow cooker often. Pretty much every Sunday we come home from church to a slow cooked meal. So I have quite a few slow cooker recipes. But today I'm going to share with you my chicken stew with cornmeal dumplings. So I'm going to grab the camera and I'll go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so one of the first things I do is I always spray my slow cooker with olive oil. And I really like this um, Misto. You just put your own olive oil in there and then you can spray it. And if you spray your slow cooker really well, you won't usually have to soak it and um, it won't be so hard to clean. So. Just go ahead and spray it really well. And then I already did all of the prep, so I have everything laid out here. You're just going to cut up four carrots and place those in the slow cooker. And then um, two stalks of celery. And then coarsely chop one small onion. And I have a little trick for the onion so that it doesn't um, make you cry while you're chopping it. If you just put it in the freezer for about 10 minutes before you chop it, um, this is the only trick I've ever found that, that um, has helped me not to have tears while I chop onions. So if you just do that, um, it will help. And then I have four cloves of garlic chopped also. You just want to put that all in there and I'm going to rest wait I'm going to write the recipe below um, so in case you're not you know following everything and then I have in here one cup of frozen corn so just add that and then you want to um, season it really well with salt and pepper so I just add some fresh ground pepper and some salt and um, one thing with following a recipe don't be afraid to add more seasoning than it says so once it's done cooking always taste it before you serve it to your family and see if it needs more seasoning I almost always um, change recipes and add more seasoning just um, so it has good flavor and then um, you want to use at least a teaspoon of rosemary so you can sprinkle that in and I always um, add more once it's done cooking because some of the flavor cooks off and then you need two cups of chicken broth and I have three chicken breasts that are boneless skinless and then you just trim them with fat and lay those on top and the dumplings are made after it's cooked and I'm going to tell you how to make those gluten free. Um, you obviously can make them, you know, the normal way, but um, I have to eat gluten free so I'm going to show you how to make those gluten free. And you just want to season the um, chicken breast again with salt and pepper. And then you are just going to put the lid on obviously and cook it on high for three and a half to four hours or on low for seven to eight okay so after you've cooked the stew um, it's gonna look like this and you're just gonna use a fork and kind of shred the chicken you can take it out if you want but it's pretty easy to just shred it while it's in there so you just want to um, shred it into you know bite-sized pieces and it smells really good just go ahead and do that Mix it up a little bit. 
and I leave the chicken kind of in big chunks, but you can shred it more if you want. Okay, and then <clears throat> to make it a little creamier, I have one cup of milk here and then just an all-purpose flour and if you need to eat gluten-free obviously you're going to use a gluten-free flour so you're just going to whisk um, two tablespoons of flour into your milk and i just do it right in the measuring cup just because i'm already using a few different bowls so one less dish all right so already so you didn't have to watch me do all the measuring but in this bowl I have a half a cup of flour and again um, you can use whichever type of all-purpose flour you want to use a half a cup of cornmeal a teaspoon of baking powder and then a dash of salt so all your dry ingredients in one bowl and then in the other bowl I have two egg whites two tablespoons of milk and two tablespoons of canola oil so this is for the dumplings so you're just going to stir that in and it will um, make a dough these are so yummy and this um, as you can see is a pretty easy recipe well so everything is mixed together and then I just usually make eight small dumplings um, for our family and I'm sure you could <clears throat> if you need more I'm sure you could just double this and um, put more in there so it'll start to look like that you don't obviously want to over mix it but just to make sure everything's mixed together and then um, I just drop them um, by about a tablespoon in there, and they're going to expand. So just um, like one every inch or so. It doesn't have to be perfect. So they're going to expand and you want to put the lid right on and don't open the lid while those are cooking. Um, it needs the steam to continue to cook. And I'm going to go ahead, uh, we like to eat this with mashed potatoes. My husband's a big mashed potato fan. So um, I'm going to go ahead and boil potatoes while that is cooking and I'll show you what it looks like when Hey guys, so it's all finished and this is what it looks like. It's not really pretty on top or anything, but um, as you can see, the dumplings expanded and they're cooked. They're no longer mushy and um, so you can just go ahead and scoop one of those out and all the yummy stew is right there in the bottom. So that's what it will look like. And our family is ready to eat, so we are going to go ahead and eat, and I hope you enjoyed this slow cooker meal, um, and if you would like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel, How Jen Does It. Thank you so much for watching.